What's up mga bubuyong? I'm back! So for this video, it would be again conic sections but this time, it would be more on parabola. Okay, so ano nga ba yung parabola guys? Kung sa circle, kinat natin yung flat surface kung saan yung flat surface ay parallel dito sa ating base. Ngayon naman, sa parabola, parallel din siya pero saan siya parallel sa ating slant height. Ito yung slant height. Ito yung... Uh, side ng ating cone ng ating cone dapat yung ikakat of natin parallel din siya alright so they should be parallel at kapag nangyari yon doon natin mabubuo of uh, the parabola which is a conic section ito yan yon alright so let's take a look of the parts of the parabola guys so parabola pwede yang opening upwards downwards left or right malalaman natin mamaya para natin yun ma-identify but for now let me I discuss to you what are the different parts of a parabola. Marami yan. You can read them out and I will explain it to you. First is focus. Focus, kung mapapansin nyo, wait, let me use another color. Yes, ito, ito po yung focus, this point here. Okay, ang focus guys, always yan na nasa loob ng parabola, always naka-enclose. If you read the definition by here, located at a distance from the vertex, this is the vertex. In the direction of the parabola's opening, take note of this, direction of the parabola's opening, palagi yan nasa loob ng uh, naka-enclose sa opening ng uh, ating parabola. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ganyan yan, andito yung focus mo. Kapag ganon, andito yung focus. Kapag ganon, andito yung focus. Palagi niyong tatandaan na si focus, palagi siyang pinoprotektahan, palagi siyang sinusundan, at nasa loob palagi siya ng mga taong nagpapahalaga sa kanya. Sana all. Alright. Next. I think, I hope you get that point. Alright. Next is the directrix. Directrix, siya naman yung kabaliktaran ng focus. Kung si focus yung palaging nasa loob ng uh, ating parabola, si directrix, directrix naman, siya yung nasa labas. Siya yung palaging sunod ng sunod kahit di pinapansin. Siya yung palaging nasa likod mo, sumasalo sa'yo, pero di mo pinapansin. ba? Diba? Tama na. Alright. Directrix. Yun nga, sabi ko, sorry. Yun nga, sabi ko, siya yung nasa likod mo. Yun. Kung ito yung vertex, pala, kung ikaw to, siya yung nasa likod mo. So, yung nasa likod mo, si Directrix, yung nasa harap mo, si Focus, tandaan mo yun. I hope that would help. Yung nasa harap mo, si Focus, yung nasa likod mo, si Directrix. Alright. So, Directrix is the distance from, is a distance from a vertex, a straight line located at the opposite side of a parabola's opening. And take note, ang directrix, guys, hindi yan, ano, hindi yan, hindi yan point. Unlike focus, which is a point, ang focus is just a single point. However, directrix, uh, straight line yan. So, yung directrix mo should be either x equals uh, a value or y equals a value. When it is x equals a value, your directrix is vertical. When it's uh, y equals a value, that would be horizontal. All right. Next is the vertex. Again, sabi natin kanina, vertex is the lowest or the maximum point. Sabi dito, is the highest point if it's opening downward. Di ba, Graham? That's downward, that's the vertex. If it's opening upward, this is the lowest point naman. Rightmost for leftward, pag ganun siya. And leftmost kung pa rightward siya. These are the vertex. Okay, I hope you got the point. The coordinates of this vertex as denoted as HK. Yan. Sabi nga natin, those are known as the HK. Next, axis. Dito naman tayo sa axis. Axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is kung saan ito, yung line na to. Again, yung axis of symmetry is like uh, directrix also na line lang siya. That would be equal to X equals a line or Y equals a value. So, yung axis of symmetry is yung Uh, line na nagdi-divide sa ating parabola para kapag hinati mo yan equal yung side na ito sa side na ito. Alright? So, basically para makuha yung axis of symmetry um, magbibase ka sa focus at vertex. Ipag-connect yung, yung same na value ng focus at vertex yun na mismo yung axis of symmetry. Doon mahahati yung dalawang side. I will show examples mamaya kung paano natin makukuha yan. Next is the p-value. Alright? Take note guys, tignan nyo to ha. From focus to vertex, from focus to vertex, the distance over here, we call that the p-value. The p-value. This focus from the vertex, that's the p-value. 
And also, from the directrix hanggang sa vertex, a distance from this, we again call that P. So, the distance here is also equal to the distance here. Alright? Take note of that. And lastly, we have the latus rectum. Latus rectum is... Wait, let me uh, draw a straight line. Latus rectum, guys, is yung point... Ito. Yan. The point... Latus rectum, guys, is the point na perpendicular na tatama sa ating focus. Yan yung focus, yung perpendicular na ito. That's the latus rectum. And the value of this latus rectum is 4 times P. Which means, yung isang part na to, that's 2P. Yung part na to, that's also 2P. Alright? So, those are the parts. Uh, ano, essential yung mga parts na to when you are really graphing. Kasi, when the teacher wants us to graph the certain... Uh, Certain parabola, we would need the certain parts para makompleto yung uh, ating parabola. But uh, beside all, in definition guys, ang ating definition po ng parabola, the uh, definition ng parabola is the locus of points. Ito po yung locus of points. And if that, locus of points yan, yan. Locus of points wherein the, the distance to the focus is the same to the distance perpendicular distance to the directrix. Ito po, equal yan dito. Ibig sabihin, this point going to focus, equal yan to this point going sa directrix. Uh, I hope you get the point. This point going to focus is equal yan going to the directrix. Locus of points, which is, the locus of points were in the distance to the focus is equal to the perpendicular distance to the directrix. So, that's the definition of uh, parabola. And now, let's now solve some... I wait. Sorry. Uh, standard equation na tayo. So, talking about standard equation, guys. Sa ating standard equation, we have uh, two standard equation. Basically, depende yan if it's opening downwards or upwards or left or right. So, ito, the equation x minus h squared is equal to 4p y minus k is for opening upwards or downwards. So, when we are really, uh, kung magsusolve tayo na, na tayo ng mga problems, we need to identify kung it is going up, upwards or downwards. Paano natin ma-identify yun? Kung yung naka-square ay x, isipin niya, kung yung naka-square ay x, that would mean that it's either opening upwards or downwards. Alright? It's either opening upwards or downwards. Now, paano naman yung malalaman kung up or down? Basically, magbibase kayo sa value ng ating P. This is the P value here. Kung yung P value nyo ay greater than 0, ibig sabihin, that would be opening upwards dito. Opening upwards. But if your P value is opening downwards, that would be uh, is, uh, neg is lesser than 0, that would be opening downwards. Alright? Next, another standard equation is when it's opening sidewards. That would be equal to, magbaliktaran lang po yun, y minus k squared is equal to 4p x minus 8. Same goes, kapag y naman yung naka-square, it's either going left or right. Ngayon, paano nyo malalaman if right or left? Kapag yung P ulit, itong P value is positive, is going right. That's P positive. Ito yun, no? This. This line. Okay? And if it's go, if P is negative dito, it's going left. Alright? So, again, recap. First, tignan yung ano yung naka-square. Kung yung naka-square is X, is either up or down. Kapag yung naka-square is Y, is either left or right. Next, yung p-value. If positive, that's either going up or right. Kapag negative, it's either going to the left or going down. I hope you got that. Sana. Alright? So next, let's have an example over here. Example naman po natin ngayon is to uh, given ngayon yung center natin in focus. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, try nating buuin lahat ng parts ng ating parabola. That would be the most essential way 
to practice this kind of certain uh, problems. So, unang-una, I want to emphasize na kailangan nating mag-graph para mas mag-visualize natin kung ano nga ba yung pinagsasabi natin dito. Kasi, it would be very hard for us to solve problem like this, problem like this kung hindi natin yan igagraph. Alright? So, let's start. Ano ba yung given? Always start with the given. Sabi dito, center at 0, 0. A parabola sa center at 0, 0. Center, guys, is also known as the vertex. So, the vertex daw is andito sa 0, 0. Now, sabi dito, ang focus niya is along 3, 0. That's 1, 2, 3. This is 3, 0. Find the other parts of the parabola. So, we are only given to and hahanapin natin yung napakaraming yan. So, paano natin yan gagawin? It's, uh, kung na nag-grasp nyo yung concepts dito, it would be easy, easy for you to do this. Okay? So, paano natin yan gagawin? First is, uh, identify natin kung opening leftward ba, opening ba sa left or opening ba sa right. ba? Or opening up or opening down. Basically guys, kung andito yung vertex mo, andito yung focus, sabi ko nga, palaging ini-inclose ng vertex yung focus. Ibig sabihin, your parabola is going rightwards. Kasi yun yung given eh. Uh, gets? Yes, I hope so. Yun. So, alam na natin na ganito yung ating parabola. Okay. Next. Next natin gawin. Identify mo natin yung ibang parts dito. First is the directrix. Directrix, sabi natin, is sa kung yung focus is sa harap ng vertex, ang directrix naman is sa likod ng vertex. Ibig sabihin, sa likod nito. Alright? And take note, ang distance from vertex to focus is the same as the distance from vertex to directrix. Ibig sabihin, you will just count, if this is 3 units, that's 1, 2, 3, you will also count 3 units going backwards. So that's 1, 2, 3. Ibig sabihin ay that ang directrix mo is this line. Alright? Yes, that's your directrix, guys. So, we write that. Paano na batin yan isusulat? Directrix, this is, since it's a, it's a vertical line, that would be equal to, x would be equal to negative 3. Kasi you move 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 3 units to the, to the likod sa left. Alright? Now, Next na gagawin natin, next na i-find natin is yung axis of symmetry. Basically guys, you can now identify that the axis of symmetry is this line, which is y is equal to 0. Next, p-value. What's the p-value? The Our p-value here would be equal to, again, sabi ko nga, p-value is either the distance to dito or dito to dito. That would be equal to, Positive 3. Bakit positive 3? It's going distance of the uh, vertex to the... This is the vertex. This is the focus. Distance of the p-value is the distance of vertex to the focus. Okay? So, that would be positive 3. Again, bakit positive 3, guys? If it's going to the right or it's going up, your p-value should be positive. It, if it's going to the uh, left or it's going down your p-value would be negative. Take note of this. It's very essential, alright? Next is the graph, alright? Hindi pa kompleto yung graph natin, guys. Kasi di ba mapapansin nyo, ang graph natin, kailangan natin ng at least 2 points dito para mag-graph yan. So, paano natin yun mag magagawa? Eh, wala pa tayong equation. We can use the concept of the lattice rectum. Guys, if you, as I said a while ago, Latus rectum is distance from dito hanggang dito. And the distance from focus to this point is 2p. So, ibig sabihin, saan na tayo dito? Ma-identify na natin na from this point, para makakuha tayo ng isang point dito, we will, we will just go upwards 2p and downwards 2p. Alright? So, what is 2p? Again, what's the value of our p? The value of our p here, guys, that's p is equals to 3, di ba? Ibig sabihin, 2p is 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So, we will go 6 units upward. So, ibig sabihin, that would be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yon, that's one point, and we go downwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's another point. Alright, 
So we will just need to connect those points. We will need to connect them. All right? Yon. Don't forget your arrows because continuous yan. So that's it, guys. If uh, so here, yes, this is the graph check na yan. If we add here latus rectum. Latus rectum is equal to 4p. And our p is 3. Ibig sabihin, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, hindi, hindi pa tayo tapos kasi sabi dito, it requires the standard equation. So, ano ba yung equation na gagamitin natin? Diba? Dalawa to. May dalawang equation dyan. Yung gagamitin natin dyan, since it's opening left or right, is yung y na yung naka-square. So, ibig sabihin, that would be equal to y squared. That would be equal to y minus k squared is equal to 4p x minus h. Alright? So, substitute values. That's y minus 0 because our center centers at 0, 0. Squared is equal to 4. The value of our p is 3. x minus 0. So, that would just be equal to y squared. 4 times 3 is 12. x minus 0 is x. So, this is the standard equation of our parabola. It, it would really be very long, guys. Mahaba talaga yung process niya. Especially when you need to find every part of the parabola. Alright, so for this example number 2, ang given naman ay center in directrix. When solving problems for parabola, iba't iba yung given, guys. Pwede yung axis of symmetry yung given. Focus lang. Uh, kasama yung latus rectum. Depende yan sa given, guys. What's important in this and solving this is dapat alam niyo kung ano yung gamit ng every parts kasi kung alam niyo yung gamit ng every parts madali niyo na lang ma-analyze ano and baso solve yung problem so let's try to solve this problem given guys yung center tsaka directrix again first thing to do is i-graph niyo siya para mas madali niyo ma-visualize kung ano yung mga hinahanap niyo all right so first here directrix at x is equal to 2 so that's 1 2 ibig sabihin the directrix, guys, is along this line. Ito yan, guys. That's the directrix. Alright? So, x equals to next. Center at 0, 0. And dito na yung center niya. Alright? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang graph natin is going to the left or right? It's going to the left. Bakit left? Kasi, ang directrix ay nasa likod ng vertex. Ibig sabihin, ang focus nyo is along this line, which means that your parabola is going to the left. Alright? So, pag ganun siya. Gets? Alright. So, we have one point already. This is point. Let's name this. That's point zero. Zero next. Let's uh, solve more. Okay, focus. Paano natin mahanap yung focus? Again, yung distance ng vertex to directrix is the same sa distance ng vertex to focus. So, if the distance here is one, 2 units, di ba? 1 and 2. So, ibig sabihin, we will also move 2 units going to the left para makuha yung focus. So, that would be 1 and 2. Ibig sabihin, this point here, guys, let's use blue. Ang point na yan, that would be your focus which is at negative 2 and 0. This is 0, 0. That is negative 2 and 0. This, this is the vertex. This is the focus. So, let's write it there. That's negative 2 and 0. Next, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is we know na yung line na ito kung saan siya nahati. Kasi ito yun, di ba? This part here is uh, symmetrical to this part. So, ibig sabihin, that's the line. Since it's horizontal, that would be equal to y is equal to 0. Tama. What is p-value? Again, that's the distance from vertex going to the Focus. So, that's 2 units. 1, 2. So, p-value natin is equal to 2. Will it be positive or negative? Again, that would be equal to negative. Alright, bakit negative? Again, take note guys. If your graph is going uh, left or downwards, your p-value is negative. When your uh, graph is going upwards or to the right, your p-value is positive. Don't forget that, guys. So, this is negative 2. So, next is the graph. Yun, ginagawa pa natin. Next is the latus rectum. Kailangan natin ma malaman kung ano yung latus rectum para makahanap tayo ng at least 2 points. Kasi yung latus rectum, guys, ito yan. Kung ito yung, kung ito yung graph, kasi let's say, di ba ito yung graph natin? This is the focus. 
This is the vertex. Latus rectum is this length. Kung alam natin yung length na to, mahanap natin yung coordinates na ito. Gets? So, let's find for the latus rectum. And again, latus rectum is 4P. Ibig sabihin, this part here, yung kalahati nito, that's 2P. Yung kalahati niyan, that's 2P. Okay? So, what is 4P? 4P is 4 times negative 2. That would be equal to negative 8. That's the value of our latus rectum. But, when we are talking about latus rectum, guys, it would be always positive because it's distance. So, that would be positive 8. P-value, yun lang magbabari pag kapag negative or positive. Alright, dito na dito tayo ngayon. Ibig sabihin, from the focus, I will need to fo move 4 units upward, 4 units upward, and 4 units downward because that's 8. Kalahati natin, that's 4 and 4. So, dito, from, the, from this focus, I will move two u 4 units upward. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have... One point over here, and I will also move four unit, four units, four units downward. So let's cut that off. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So anton siya langap. So at least meron na tayong three points. We can now we can now draw the graph. All right. Jug 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 jug. Yon. So, okay na tayo sa graph, okay na tayo sa latus rectum. So, basically, that's the concept, guys. I hope you have learned something. So, the, uh, the key here when solve, solving for parabola is basically, guys, knowing ano yung gamit ng part by part. Kasi if you mastered kung ano yung mga part by part dyan, it will be easier for you to solve and understand yung mga problems like this. Alright? So... That's it mga bees. If you have some problem, comment down below. Try natin yung sagutan. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye mga bees.